me, that was probably the greatest time in car design. And this was the greatest car design of all time. My grandfather owned a Tucker dealership back in 47, 48. They were officially open for business for three days. And in the three days, they took 130 orders. My grandfather returned every deposit that he took. All 130 deposits he returned out of his pocket. I always admired the car. My father had hundreds of business cards with the Tucker 48 on them. And as a little kid, I used to look at the cards and just say, wow, this car is so cool. As an immigrant, he never had it easy. He came over from Italy and became man of the house at 13 years old and did everything he could to better the situation for his family and, and the people that were close to him. The unusual shape, as a young kid, I started to draw pictures of cars and my own design, and I became a hot rodder because of that. It came out because of the excitement in the entire family about having a Tucker dealership. My grandfather was an entrepreneur. What he liked about Preston Tucker was that here was a guy that was willing to shake things up a bit. Preston Tucker was a showman. When he entered a room, everyone knew it. His ideas were exciting. When he came up with a plan to build a car and combine all these exciting new ideas, it was an easy sell for a lot of people, certainly an easy sell for my grandfather. He knew right away that there was something special there. If it was a success for Tucker, it would revolutionize the way cars were built at that time. Well, it was a very big deal to become a Tucker dealer back in 47, 48. My father pretty much hocked everything he owned. We got two cars to display. My father drove the Rockefellers around on a test drive and then had to give the cars back. Uh, as reality set in and the influence of the big three to get cars done faster, the design was compromised and changed into the Tucker 48 that we all know of. Eventually they went under. My father tried to get more money together to go and buy uh, some parts or uh, an unfinished car, but they couldn't come up with enough money. So he basically spent his whole life wanting a Tucker and never got a Tucker. I, I know that my grandfather was inspired by this torpedo concept. The Tucker 48 sedans that we all know of, he liked them and that was the car that, that he was gonna sell and there was a tremendous amount of enthusiasm about that car. But I know that this torpedo concept was really what triggered him to put it all on the line. And I know that Preston Tucker felt the same way. This is the car that he really wanted. My father's an amazing guy. He's been building hot rods since he's 14 years old. He's able to take any car and make it go faster, look better. Anything that he tries to do, he's able to do with the car. We've been building hot rods since I was a kid, and each hot rod became more and more elaborate. Now we were ready to build a car completely from scratch. The Tucker Torpedo was never built. The car that we're building is based on the Tucker Torpedo concept. That car was never created. It was time to dig a little deeper. George Lawson was well known for his forward-thinking vehicles. He had concepts that were unlike anything that was in production at that time. He was employed by Preston Tucker to do this concept car. We also knew that he built a quarter-scale model, but no one knew where it was. Then it surfaced. It was stored in a tobacco barn. Now, as Rob was zoning in on it, Peterson Museum bought it. They allowed us to come and take some 3D scanning and measurements of the, of the model. And we were able to take that information and load it into our CAD and design a full-scale 3D wooden buck. And that's step one in bringing this Tucker torpedo concept to life.
And we're doing it in the same fashion that Preston Tucker would have. We're a small shop, we're just a few guys, and we're gonna suffer through it from start to finish. We don't have billions of dollars behind us for development and tooling, and we're gonna do it the hard way. We're gonna cross each bridge as we come to it. I love the fact that we're able to kind of reach back there and pull something special out of history and bring it to life. This is what I was meant to do. It should be something this special.